All right, hello, welcome Parkside. Um, so just to give a brief background for those that don't know, um, biblical baptism is an important first step in obedience for every believer in Christ. While baptism doesn't save you, it is a public testimony of what Christ has done in your life as a Christ follower. It's a symbolic picture of death, burial, resurrection, and a new life, as well as commitment to Christ and his church. When you are baptized, you are obeying Christ's command in the Bible for all believers, and you're telling the world that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. As such, Parkside has some questions for everyone who asks to be baptized. I will have Jacob share his answer to those questions here, both as a public profession of faith and his commitment to Jesus, and as a testimony to those sitting here today who have yet to put their full faith, hope, and trust in Christ and his will for their life. So the first question is, why are you seeking baptism? Um, I'm wanting to get baptized because I want to show the world um, the change that God brought about in my life when he, uh, when he saved me, and this is God's way of doing that. How do you know that you are saved? Um, I thought I was saved when I was about nine years old. And uh, I was even baptized then. I gotta say, the water was a lot colder. Um, uh, but there was no real fruit, no true fruit in my life. Um, there was no real change that was significant enough um, in, my, in my eyes that would indicate that I'm actually saved. Um, and as years went on, I had problems with addiction to porn. Um, I wasn't faithful to my wife in God's standard at the very least. Um, and I was living in sin as a slave to that sin and um, most importantly I wasn't trusting Jesus with my entire life and I was selfish a lot um, even with things that would seem like I was selfless it was still uh, motivated intrinsically by my own desires um, I was living that way for about 15 years and nobody told me I was saved until a year after I actually did commit to Christ and was saved. So, um, to answer the question, I know for a fact now that I am saved and that I am a Christian because I'm living my life for Jesus and others. Um, I'm no longer a slave to my sin, and I um, have freedom from the addiction that I did have. Um, and uh, I see fruit in my life that shows that I'm different now than I was before and that Jesus made a change in my life, and other people see it too, and so that's why I know. So what do you believe God expects in your life after making this public confession? So um, God expects complete commitment. Uh, Matthew 9, 62 says, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. And Matthew 14, 27 says, whoever does not bear his own cross and follow after me cannot be my disciple. I'm ready to follow him obediently by pursuing holiness and um, actively trying to fulfill the Great Commission. And would you like to share anything else? Yes. Um, Paul writes in 2 Corinthians to examine yourselves, to see whether you were in the faith, and to test yourselves. I want everyone in this room to do this today. I mean, you, you may have confidence, but I had false confidence for close to 15 years. Um, so if you see fruit, ask yourself if you see fruit. Ask other people who are willing to urge your feelings if they see fruit in your life. Get a mentor. We have three pastors and six elders in this church, and every single one of them is capable of helping you fully know and follow Jesus. Um, but most importantly, I look forward to serving the kingdom with each one of you who is truly and fully a uh, committed brother or sister in Christ. With that, I'll have Jacob join me over here. So Jacob, in obedience to Christ and his great commandment, and upon your profession of faith in Jesus as your Savior and Lord, I baptize you in the name of the Father, his Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit.